Bobby Cool Daddy Slickbrews here, and you might be thinking about, or maybe you went ahead and purchased a Dynamic Discs Disc Golf Bag Cart by Zuka, and I'm gonna tell you how to put this together. Your box should have all these uh, parts for the cart. Now they're gonna be wrapped up in plastic bag, but I went ahead and took them out of the plastic bag. Um, you should have two water bottle holders for the back, two of these little washers, one axle, two uh, locking nuts, or whatever you want to call these, two, two wheels, and of course a handlebar. You're going to want to have a screwdriver to get the water bottles holders on, so we'll go over that in a second as we assemble. First thing I'm going to start with is the wheel. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your axle and you're going to put one of the washers on. Then you're going to put the wheel on there. Then you're going to want to put your little locking nut bolt washer, or that's not, not a washer, locking bolt, whatever you want to call it. Uh, you don't want to put it all the way on, but you want it to be able to hold the wheel on there. Then you're going to take your cart And you want to find the little hole there where the axle is going to go. And you're going to slide it right in there. Okay. Then on the other end, you're going to take your washer again, put her in there. And you're going to take the wheel, slide it on the axle. Then you're going to take your other locking cap, end cap, whatever you want to call it, and you're going to put it right on the end here, okay? Now one thing to remember is when you're tightening it, you want to tighten both ends at the same time because uh, you don't want it to be uneven when you tighten it. So you're going to, I'm going to take both ends and tighten those up. You don't have to do it super tight, just nice, a nice firm tightness there. Now for the water bottle holders, you'll see right here there's two uh, holes there for your screws. So I'm just going to take my screwdriver. Well, first I'm going to take the water bottle holder and I'm going to line those up with the holes. And then I'm going to put the screws in there. And then you basically just screw it in there. Before I put the other side on, I want to show you something. Right here you'll see there's, a, there's kind of a screw here and that is to allow you to adjust the size of the water bottle that you're going to put in there. So if you're going to put something large like a 32 ounce Nalgene bottle, which we ours will fit in there, um, then you're going to want to loosen this up right here. If you're going to put something smaller, then you can screw that in a little bit more and it'll make it a little bit smaller for you. Now we've got our two water bottle holders on there. Now we're going to move on to the handlebar. On the back, you're going to see a little tension screw here. You're going to want to loosen the tension up here see if I can show you here. You're going to loosen that up and then you're going to put the bar right in there like that and if you look real close you can see the word stop here. Right here you'll see the word stop and that's where you want to stop and then you're going to tighten that back up so that it holds it nice in place. And then this part has a has little holes where you can actually space it depending on the desired height you want it. So once you get it there, then you're going to tighten this little guy. And your cart ready to go. And that's it guys, your Dynamic Discs Disc Golf Bag Cart is fully assembled, ready to go. And I hope you guys enjoy it. Have a good time out on the disc golf course. If you bought the accessories that come with it, I've made a separate videos and the link, you'll see the link real quick up in the top where you can watch to see how to put on the accessories and what accessories are available. Thanks guys, appreciate your time.